Okay, it's time to see if uh, this works at all. Need to carefully peel off this housing. And um, then the tape under it. So I'm using this little dental tool to try to peel it off. Carefully. Right now we're back. I managed to take off the housing or the um bright brace. Remove the tape and I cleaned up any stickiness that the tape had on. Anyway, that's easy to do with um, a little swab. Um, there's still a little bit left, but I'll get that later. In any case, um, no damage to the camera. But this housing is now made. It looks like a little man. But it actually will flip over the front of the camera and comes off. I'm going to secure this later with a rubber band. And I think this still could be a little drier. I think it probably could uh, could be cured a little longer, perhaps. But it's all right for now. Uh, what I'm going to do, though, is I'm going to try to glue this to the top of the brace. And um, I'm going to try to center it properly. Um, probably the best way to do that is um, instead of gluing it while it's on the camera, I'm going to put this over the brace where I want it to be, making sure it fits properly. And then I'm going to kind of draw a line or a circle on the brace where I want it to fit. Like that. And I will remove it just briefly while I get some super glue, which I just bought, so it should be fresh. And I will attempt to glue this using a few small drops in a circle. And then spreading it out. And attaching it in the circular area and pushing it from the back with my fingers. Now as long as I can see that there's no glue coming out the back, I'm just going to lay the brace over the camera just to make sure it's in the right place. And it is. Oh, that's on pretty good. Yeah, I think what I should have done is I should have actually painted this black. But that's okay. Now this is supposed to set in a few seconds since it's super glue. Wow, that's pretty tough. And now we see that it just slides right over the camera. And the finishing touch for this is just a rubber band. I don't know if this is exactly the right size, but let's take a look. Let's see here. I may have to double the rubber band. band down a bit so it's not in the way of the controls not in the way of the screen but it overlaps the brace 
in two spots for added stability. There we go. And I should now be able to take my one angle lens and screw it onto the front. Oh, the threading is a little tricky there. There we go. Screw it securely onto the front of the camera. And let's see, turning the camera on. It's actually nicely focusing on everything and it's at a wide angle. So as an example, well, it's hard to see this properly, but this is the camera lens on, and if I were to remove the rubber band, lens on, lens off.